All right, uh, Mr. Shake and Break here. Um, just doing a, a quick run through of some of my uh, PC cards I have. Um, I'm looking to start posting on YouTube, so I figured this is a great video to do just to show what I got going on. Um, I am a Yankees, Giants, uh, Spurs fan. I know, very random. I uh, became a fan back in like 2008, so kept it going since then, even through this rough patch. Uh, I also love Russell Wilson, uh, LaVisca Chenault. Um, and some other players, so um, players that I think are worth some money and they could be a long time hold, I have with me as well. So, I figured I'd go through that. Um, multiple grading companies uh, plus raw cards. So, we'll start with the raw um, first card I have as a Yankees fan and a Russell Wilson fan. This is just a beautiful one to have. Prospect card. We got Kadarius Tony Auto. I think this guy could pan out. Do really well if they get a decent quarterback with them. Luis Gill at a 75. He played well last year in the games he pitched in. I was actually shocked when they sent him back down to the minors. Um, a couple of Yankees that I'm going to send out to get graded that are really nobody's right now, but hopefully could pan out. You see these uh, first Bowman cards, especially in these big market teams. They go for big money. Um, they just got to make it. <laughs> so uh, this is at a 99. Um, on card auto, and then we got Ryder Green, a couple of him, different numbered. Uh, it's one at 150. Love the color match. Uh, a couple of these are like thicker cards that just sometimes the thick cards, if they have any type of creasing, just aren't worth sending out. So, not going to do that. All right, so we got Bayouk, we got Denny of Deja. This is a sick card, um, just for the fact that. It was the last year they were in the Redskins uniforms, and clearly it says Reds there of the Redskins out of five on card auto. So Terry himself is not a PC, but that card is just ridiculous. Tylen Wallace, one out of ten. I might send that to get graded, I don't know. It's not in perfect condition though. Hopefully you get a nine. Uh, hopefully this guy decides to, decides to just play football again. Sick Peach Bowl uh, patch. Best running back in the league right here, right? Jonathan Taylor, this one's at a 125. Another Jonathan Taylor at a 75 on card auto. And then Antonio Gibson. I want to start collecting a lot more of him. I feel like once he gets a quarterback and just the team can continue to grow and become better, uh, he'll be a big part of that. All right, I'm just going to fire through these. So we got Justin Herbert, 9.5 Fire Burst. That card alone, that set, was so cheap for what it is. One of those cards is a 9.5, goes over $100. It's crazy. Uh, best running back in the league. There we go. Uh, Jefferson, 199 Big collector of him. Um, have some decent cards from him, waiting for a couple to come back from grading as well. Ohio State fan, also Super Bowl guy right here, right? Gonna lose, unfortunately, but he's in it. A little bit of DK 9.5 CSG. Um, out of 25, Clay Vaughn will chase home. And uh, hoping for big things from him once Trevor Lawrence learns how to play football. I have a Trevor Lawrence out getting graded right now, so hoping uh, they could build that connection. The green scope is just a sick card. Triangle Breaks got that for me. Um, and it's just a beautiful thing. This stack, love this stack. All right, we got Bill Belichick, eight point five. Uh, funny thing about this is this was in a stack of cards that my dad had, um, in a just a cardboard box under the steps, no penny sleeve or anything. So when it got over an eight, I was pretty shocked. So still a sick card. This is considered Belichick's rookie card. So pretty cool, pretty cool to have. Okay, so the problem with this one is I did not clean this card. There's a clear fingerprint on it. Uh, definitely messed up when I sent this out. Corners are clean, surface is clean. It's just the fingerprint definitely knocked it down to probably even a seven. So uh, if I get this back out there, get it to a nine, it'd be pretty huge. Um, I know the mosaics are hard to grade with the print lines also, but still nice. Um, I actually got this from Island Breaks. Um, great guys, great breakers. Um, I got really lucky in the start when the Chargers weren't going for a lot of money in breaks. So, awesome card to get. So this this could be 
the holy grail of, of my group if they um, if they do well. <laughs> That's the, the big thing is if if Zach Wilson learns how to play football. I think he was picking up at the end of the year. He had a really tough start, but um, at a 9.5 in an immaculate, uh, this is easily a PSA 10 because um, CSG is tough graders with their system. So this is a beautiful card out of 10. And the last is the soon-to-be Super Bowl champ, Cam Akers. Crazy comeback story. Comeback player of the year. Easily. Easily. And a 75 on card auto Cam Akers. There we go. All right. This is my uh, basketball stack, I believe. Yes, it is. All right. Devin Vassell. Need him to start picking it up because he is a great player. It's another green scope. I love these green scopes from Prism. Crazy thing about this card, though, is it is at an eight. Out of eight. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Devin Vassell, baby. Keldon. Tough grade, but guess what? Keldon Johnson's the man. Rated rookie. Another rookie. Kawhi Leonard. Old card. Crappy paper, so I'll take an 8.5 from CSG. Probably a 9 from PSA. Another Devin Vassell out of 99, though. I did all these green color matches with CSG. It looks pretty cool. We got that Obi Toppin from New York, so figured this was just a cool card to send out to get graded. Getting a 9.5 from CSG is tough, so I'll take it. Uh, I believe it's at 99. Yep, 99. And then my only 10. Only 10. Just showing off the PC. Just showing off the PC. My only baseball card that I have graded from there. These are my um, non-CSG, non-PSA Beckett cards. Um, this I got actually from a break. Like I won it in a raffle. So I uh, wasn't too mad about the 8.5 since this is a very expensive card. Very, very expensive card. But the centering, you could tell, is just absolutely awful. That's what made this great, because everything else is clean. It's just the centering was just bad. These are probably going to end up being uh, resubs. I just hope that it translates, but they're getting a lot of bad heat right now, <laughs> this company. So to have these sick cards uh, in whatever they call a 10, if I could send them to anywhere else and get a decent grade, I think Michael Pittman Jr. is a, a great PC um, I think he'll continue to get better. I think they'll get an actual quarterback eventually. Keldon Johnson to add to my uh, Spurs lot. This is silver. And then we got a little more JJ. We got that reactive orange to go along with that 